to license it. Hi everyone and a warm welcome to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers, especially if it's your first visit to my channel. Welcome back to the regular viewers. I'm Andrew and I hope you'll enjoy this project. It's a Paula Still model of the Hesketh Formula One 308 race car driven by James Hunt in the 1970s. The casting is pretty true to the original race car and I'm not going to modify it very much. Just give it a good clean up and try to keep the authentic look. We start by drilling out the rivets on the bottom. This is just a plastic base here. And I don't like to have my finger behind the drill like that, but the Formula One open wheels style made this model impossible to put into my bench vise. It would have crushed the tires when I tightened it. So here are the parts. I'm going to measure the racing stripes because I'll make my own decals later on. A visor is the German word for paint stripper. I come from Canada, but I live and work in Basel, Switzerland now, and German is one of the four official languages where I live. I'm going to leave it in there for about 15 minutes. I thought this paint was powder coated. It looked really tough to me, but when I took it out of the paint stripper, as you can see, the decals were melting right off and it did the job that we wanted it to do so uh, it wasn't too much effort with a toothbrush to wipe away the old paint job. You can't see on camera that I'm wearing a mask because my hobby bench is in the basement. There is a window but it's not excellent ventilation and so that's a safety precaution. And this one cleans up pretty well. I gave it a hot soapy bath also. And my Dremel is broken right at this time and during the coronavirus shutdown in Switzerland I can't get to the store to buy a new one so just like my dad did I took the old wire brush and some elbow grease and went at it. The brass brush is not too abrasive and so it didn't do any damage to the casting. It just takes a little bit longer, that's all. And I had to give attention to these details. It wasn't leftover paint. This is actually glue that was holding on the original decals, really heavy glue. And I guess 10 or 12 minutes later, I had that mostly cleaned up and some very, very fine steel wool gave it about as good a, a bare metal finish as I could hope for without using the rotary tool and I think you'll agree that came out pretty good. This is a brand new channel on YouTube and I'd sure be happy if you'd subscribe to this video and give it a thumbs up and come back for regularly updated content. I'm trying to get some traction in these early days and that'd be a big help to me. And because it's a new hobby I haven't built up a big supply of replacement wheels or windshields or spare parts so I've got to use what I've got and that means giving everything from the original model a bit of a scrub up in some hot soapy water and I was pleased with how good a shape it was in in the first place and so 
a little bit of work it came out all right some degreasing to take my fingerprints and natural oils off of it before it goes into the spray booth and I like the Tamiya fine surface primer it goes on very smooth and nice it doesn't block in the details on the casting and it gives the final paint job something to cling to and you won't see a big difference here because the airbrushing is white on top of white primer but again we're trying to keep it true to the original model casting And while that's setting up and drying, I went to work on some of the extra bits, the tires and the axles, and again with no power tools on hand, the fingernail file does the job just well. And some boy or girl had played with this toy just like I would have as a child and so there was some wear and tear and a couple of spurs and imperfections on these F1 racing slicks but a really light touch with some wet dry sandpaper took those away. You can see a little bit of the rough marks on there before. Was minimal effort to clean those up and of course they were a little bit dull they'd lost a bit of their luster over time and so a tire wash with black model paint and some thinners give those a little bit of a touch up and in about 10 minutes they were looking as good as new I hope during these days of lockdown and the coronavirus, you're keeping calm and carrying on. We're going to get through this together. You've got a little bit of extra time at home, and so do I, so I'll make some videos, and I hope you'll enjoy watching them. And it's a simple reassembly today because there weren't too many parts to begin with. The tires just rest on the casting. They don't clip in. They're going to be held in place by the engine, which only goes in one way. And that holds the tires down and everything's going to be kept in place by the plastic base. And once I position that just right, it took a gentle bit of pressure and a click and everything snapped back into place and that's all there was to that it was a pretty basic job. So now it's just up to the final touch and the dress up and some decals. Make my own at home with the old inkjet printer and some water slide decal paper. Of course you give that a spray of clear lacquer. St. Andrew's Cross from Scotland beside the flag of England.
Hesketh team was a bit of a maverick race team in the 70s, not taken too seriously by the others, but after a couple of good seasons in 74 and 75 and a win at the Dutch Grand Prix, they were all of a sudden on the map. And of course, the great driver's rivalry was between James Hunt and Nicky Lauda, which was the storyline for the movie Rush. Hold your breath with me now as I apply these decals. I always print two or three or four times as many as I need because, well, yeah. These ones went on okay. It was a pretty simple job and I'm pleased with how the whole thing turned out this time. Pretty close to the original. That was my goal. And all of my restorations go to the local second-hand store where they're bundled up in bags of three and given away to kids for free. And here's the finished product. If you look at that from all angles, the wheels came out nicely with a little refurb. That's a very simple paint job and I guess the tricky part today was the decals, but I'm happy with how that turned out as well. A reminder of what we started with. the finished product. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to leave your comments below. I hope to see you again real soon.